Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a cute little card for you today featuring the Tune In Bundle. Uh, this little TV, I, I think in my mind of a retro television, I guess because, I guess that's what it is, right? Those big boxy TVs that used to sit on the floor. Um, I adore this set and I've got a series of projects for you. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. There's three today and there's gonna be uh, several others too. Okay, so this card I made originally for a swap. So when I make something for a swap, that means it's an easy, easy card, okay? Now I've got my grid sheet and I put a foam mat underneath it because um, Specifically, this stamp I have found needs a foam map. When you have a large photopolymer stamp, sometimes you have a hard time getting an even impression. Um, so if you put a foam mat underneath, it helps with that. Um, I find different spaces in my craft studio stamp better than others, I guess, because of the surface underneath. So if you've got that, that mat, it will help if you've got like a table or a counter or something that doesn't have a lot of give in it. But let's start first with the background. I like to create patterned backgrounds with uh, stamps from a stamp set. So this one, we're just gonna use the Your Super, and I'm just gonna kind of go around stamping it kind of willy-nilly, if you will, just kind of making a background. I'm not gonna worry too much about here in the front, I mean in the center, because we are gonna cover that with our little TV. But I'm just gonna go around and just stamp it all over, kind of like a subliminal message, your super. And then we can close that and we'll put one right there. Okay, so there's that. I know it kind of looked lit, but I promise you, it's gonna, it's gonna make sense. All right, we're gonna stamp our television in uh, Memento Black on a piece of pecan pie. And when I have a big, uh, image like this sometimes the ink pad is smaller than the image so I turn the ink or the stamp over and stamp the top of it like that and then we'll just set it right there there we go perfect and we're gonna die cut that using the dies we're gonna have we're gonna also cut out the little antenna that goes on top of the TV um, I guess that's another indication of it being retro right uh, we're gonna stamp uh, we're going to cut out the TV and let's do that first so that we make sure that it doesn't slide around. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to take the uh, antenna. Now you've got two. This one is for when you're not stamping the image. This one right here is if you stamped the image. There's an antenna stamp, but I'm just going to use some silver foil and we're gonna do the antenna and then the inside part, the screen part of the television from silver foil. Also, run that through. Make sure you put your dies back so you don't lose them. Coming from an expert die misplacer, <laughs> that's me always misplacing my dies. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take um, some liquid glue here and put just a little bit like that and then we'll put a little bit of glue right there for the center or for the antenna. So let's put that there. And then if you get your take your pick tool and pick that up, it's a little bit easier than trying to pick it up with your fingers. And I kind of wanted that kind of wonky, kind of you know, to the side like that. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Um, we also need to stamp the uh, part that says news flash. So I'm gonna stamp that in blueberry bushel. I don't think I said that before. The card base and the ink are both blueberry bushel, which has lately just become one of my favorite colors. I really love it. All right, so I'm just gonna chop this off. You can use a banner if you want, but I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna do like a rectangle, okay? All right, now notice this little rec or this little square back here. 
I have taken a postage rectangle, and this isn't the largest one, this is like maybe the second largest one, and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I have a stylish shape uh, square, and I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna adhere this so that it fits around the square, okay? So kind of place it there so you can see. And if you line these little edges up, it'll be perfect. Uh, let's see, do I have, I don't have my stamp and seal, so we'll just stick with the glue. All right, let's see if I can remember where I put it. That's the good thing about glue. If you mess up, you have a few seconds to fix it. Okay, and then perfect. Okay, so now we'll get some dimensionals. Put that there. And then we'll put our TV kind of cattywampus. Is that a real word, cattywampus? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. All right, and then we're gonna put a dimensional right here in the middle of newsflash, like that. And then let's come over here and put, this is a strip of our Country Woods Designer Series paper, just a one by four strip. There'll be a PDF on my blog with measurements and supplies. If you're interested in any of the supplies or you need the measurements, make sure you go get that, it's free. Put that there and then we'll put the square on top of it like this. Newsflash, you're super. All right, and then we have these really cool new dots. Let me hold them up and see if you guys can see. They're textured, let me see what they're called. Adhesive back, te oh, textured dots. I, I knew the name of it for once. All right, and I'm just gonna take a few and just kind of sprinkle them around like that. Now, I didn't do anything on the inside of my original, but I wanted to change that this time. I'm gonna take this stamp right here, which is kind of, I don't know what you would call this, but you know, like when you get like a glitch or something on your TV, I'm gonna stamp that like that, and then I'm gonna do the Your Super again on the inside, like that. In case they missed <laughs> the subliminal messages on the outside, they'll see it on the inside. All right, and that is it. Now, of course, as always, change the sentiment if you want. If you want it to be a little bit different, happy birthday. Uh, thank you, whatever. I think this could probably go either way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Hop back to my blog at that free PDF and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.